big news. Um, uh, for those who don't know, I'm currently making uh, my second horse sculpture made out of horseshoes. And uh, the news is, I've just reached the head. Uh, well, I've completed the head. So all I need to do now is the mane and tail, and then it's and it's done. Uh, so and then, so um, I thought I'd do a quick little video to show you how uh, the progress and uh, talk to you about how it's gone so far and uh, what I've been doing. Um, and yeah, so if that sounds good, then come in. So this piece has been the most challenging to make, but ultimately the most rewarding section to do. Um, uh, as you may have heard me say in other videos that I've done, I want to make this horse, uh, sculpt this horse in a different way compared to um, other sculptors I've done in the past. Uh, so what I do differently is I use the sides of the horseshoe um, itself as well as the, the face of it, the front of it. So like the sides of it here, for example, and the, and the front of it here. I believe this allows you to um, define strong features of the horse. Uh, I'll just, just sculpt them better and you so hopefully make things pop out a bit more. And um, it also allows me to go into a greater depth of detail. Uh, for the eye example, for the head, for the head, for the head example, like uh, I believe I've, I've managed to compose the eye and the nose in a in an honest looking way. That I believe to a horse it could be. Um, all this without actually having to change the horseshoe itself. I just simply used the right horseshoes at the at the right composition and then welded it on and then it produces this effect. Uh, so that leads me on to the mane and the tail and I want to try and continue that theme of uh, not changing the horseshoe itself so I plan to use lots of horseshoes. Um, obviously from having a hair, doing hair wise, it's very whis whispery and very flowing and obviously the shape I'm quite restricted with just having a U shape. So I'm planning on having lots of horseshoes together in a very random organic uh, um, pattern uh, and it clumped together to create a bit of a mass of hair and hopefully in, in a random way it'll hopefully just create that sense of a mass of hair and then it'll hopefully create that flowing feel. So uh, that will be um, quite interesting to do. should be quite, not take too long because uh, I'm not got a big composition in mind it's going to be a bit more freeing just to go go as it as it goes and um, yeah but uh, this uh, head's gone down well so I'm thinking of making a separate head to go on a plinth and uh, so then I'll be like selling uh, all the heads uh, separately as a way of you know to get a bit more more work out there because uh, it takes a long while to do a rearing horse sculpture but yeah so yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that, so yeah.